Greetings, my name is Mpumele Lundlovo, and I'm currently doing my first year in Bachelor of Environmental Health at Nelson Mandela University. My first year experience under the Department of Environmental Health has been extremely phenomenal, making my transition from a high school to university environment very easy. With support from astounding lecturers, peer-to-peer -peer mentoring programs, a fun and interactive learning environment, even with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on traditional learning, my first year experience has been exhilarating and most importantly, educational. From first year, you have modules that simulate real world applications of your career as a future environmental health practitioner. An introduction to environmental health module introduces you to the scope of profession of environmental health. Then you have theoretical foundational modules such as human anatomy and sustainable development which equip you with the necessary foundational knowledge that you will utilize as a future environmental health practitioner to maintain a sustainable and healthy living environment. You also learn practical modules such as chemistry, which gives you the full experience of working in a laboratory, professional laboratory environment, and microbiology, where you sample, observe, and learn more about microorganisms and bacteria that are part of our everyday environment. From first day, you are subjected to a work integrated learning program which puts you directly in the workplace while you're still studying. This experience, however, does not end with me and I have my colleague who's in second year to tell you more. My name is Pearl Mziago and I'm a final year student and I'm here with two of my other final year students, um, Simelelo and Tato. So in second year is where you get exposed to the theory of occupational health and as you progress to the third year and fourth year is where it gets more practical. So in the second year you get to learn about the theory of the different stresses and today our main focus is going to be on the noise stress. The importance of this is because as environmental health practitioners we need to evaluate, control and measure noise in work um, spaces as well as in the environment in general because this affects um, the health of the public we deal with noise complaints and we need to ensure that the public and industries comply with the standards of noise in the environment so that they do not exceed them and cause um, health problems to the public. So today I'm going to demonstrate how we would normally take a noise measurement. So um, we firstly you need your tripod stand and you need your sound level meter. There's different kinds of sound level meters that we use, but today we're gonna to use the 3M sound level meter. And what you do is you just put on your sound level meter and then you calibrate it first to ensure that the recordings are obviously gonna be accurate. And then this calibrator is a 94 decibel calibrator. So you make sure that the 94 reads on the calibrator. And then the next thing that you do is put on the windshield to make sure that the wind doesn't affect your noise readings and then you're gonna mount your um, sound level meter on the tripod stand. And then you can set it to record to whichever timer you need. A good day. My name is Lele Tukete. I'm a master's student in environmental health. As we continue in this exciting program, at second year level, there's a module called Water Quality Management. The purpose of this module is to equip students and prepare them to, be, to practice as environmental health practitioners. One of the duties of environmental health practitioners it is to assess and monitor water quality. Environmental health practitioners assess physical biological and chemical water properties of drinking water, even waters from fresh water bodies. So this is an instrument that is used to measure these water uh, samples. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to um, measure one parameter, which is a chemical parameter uh, alkalinity uh, with uh, this instrument. To do that, we'll insert this electrode to the machine and then we open the cap and we insert the electrode in the water sample then you press measure and then you wait for your readings 
Hi guys, my name is Mutondera Rangani. I'm one of the environmental health students here at the Nelson Mandela University. So one of the modules that you'll be exposed to will be food safety throughout your course or throughout your degree from second year, third year and fourth year. Another reason why environmental health students study food safety is so that they can ensure um, food safety in all food facilities. Uh, as a student, you will learn how to analyze non-conformities in food facilities you will learn how to identify uh, corrective strategies in order to ensure food safety. And you also learn how to analyze and implement such food strategies so that you ensure corrective measures are in place. So as a student in environmental health, you will be exposed to different activities such as your work integrated learning. And one of the um, placements or one of the activities that you will do is your abattoir visits, where you'll be required to dress like as you can see another student, where you'll be um, dressed in your PPE, which is your protective uh, clothing or protective equipment, which is your hard hat, your work suit, which will be white because you do, uh, you're visiting a food abattoir or a meat abattoir. And then that also includes wearing your safety shoes because you need to be safe in the environment or in the working environment at all times. So as a student in the department, I have learned that through food safety, it's not just about the way you cook your food or the way you prepare your food, but it's about how your food is being manufactured, how it's being transported, and how it gets to your supermarkets. As a final year student, my journey has been amazing. I have developed a lot of different skills from interacting with different uh, students within the university environment. Within the department, environmental health, uh, you get to interact with a lot of different um, lecturers that share their experience. Personally, I have learned a lot of um, skills because I've been involved in the environmental health orientation program as a body. I have been or I am an environmental health uh, mentor and also I've been involved um, with the environmental health society as a deputy secretary. So as a student in the environmental health department you get to grow and I as a student of the department I am happy to say I've grown within the department of environmental health. Looking back over the years, um, this degree has definitely helped me grow as a person. I've developed a lot of skills and knowledge um, that have helped me in my personal life as well as in my career. This has enhanced my vision of the world and my role in making a change for the better. The realization that action in one area will affect outcomes in others and that development must balance social, economic and environmental sustainability is also one of the core themes of the World Environmental Health Day. So join us in this exciting journey in environmental health. Yeah. <laughs>